Okay guys, this is my home experiment uh, testing the renin and um, come up with a way to see if the milk has been coagulated or not. Uh, you get a paper clip and a bread clip and you just drop it in. If it sinks all the way to the bottom then um, it has not coagulated. This is the one that had the uh, sodium citrate in it so of course it wouldn't coagulate. This one had um, a small amount of sodium citrate but not as much as this one. Um, so we'll drop the bread clip in there. And you see it does not sink to the bottom. So it, it gets partially covered by it. So it goes in partially, but um, it does not sink all the way to the bottom like the other one did. So it goes partially in. And and you can see if you if you lift it up it's in clumps. Whereas this one, if you lift it up and look at it, there isn't really much on there. But here is a proper solidified one. You can see it looks very much like yogurt here and then if you drop that in it's not even sinking down at all so uh, you can very clearly see that that's not going anywhere it even gets stuck in there if you, if you drop it in from high enough but it won't sink all the way in okay um, some of you are wondering about cheesecloth um, this is one way that we could potentially test it um, so I got a cheesecloth here here's a solidified one um, the non solidified one, when you're swirling it around, looks like this, looks like normal milk. Partially solidified one, looks like uh, this, I'll zoom in a bit. Let's see. Partially solidified one, kind of lumpy like that. And uh, the fully solidified one is a giant mass. See, it doesn't really swirl that much. If you chuck it in, it's very coagulated. And that's a marble that I chucked in there to see um, how rubbery it was. Okay, so uh, now that we've got it in the cheesecloth, we'll let it uh, sit there for a second.